Hey there, I'm Mad Murdoch 4 and you're wanting to make a command block timer slash clock. But you don't want to use armor stands, potions, entities or scoreboards, I totally get it. So here is a simple redstone clock hooked up to a fireworks dispenser and a small display. When I initially needed this mechanism, this timer clock, there was nothing out there. There was nothing on YouTube, no tutorials, no help, nothing. So I had to invent it myself. So I'm hoping this tutorial for my command clock timer will help you. So there's two ways you can set it up. There's the anchor method or there's the tower method. I got really excited and decided to do a diagram. So hopefully it will help explain a lot more. When the repeater in front of the blue impulse command block is triggered, it makes the redstone dust turn to a redstone block by using the set block command. Then that signal is carried on to the green inputs command block, which is the timer clock for this part. After the specific time has ended, the command block resets this part of the timer clock mechanism by replacing the redstone block with redstone wire using the set block command. The pink chain command block above the first inputs command block uses the set block command to make a redstone block trigger the repeater on the other side which turns on the orange impulse timer clock and after the specific time it turns on the firework redstone clock. The chain command block above the orange impulse command block also has a timer in it which turns off the firework clock. The yellow chain command block uses the set block command to make the redstone block turn to air resetting the mechanism after both firework timers have run. And now to demonstrate what I've just explained, here's a short video. This is the full cycle. I think it's 10 seconds. That's what I've set the timers for, for the whole cycle to run. So as you can see, they turn on at the same time. The right side powers the left side but the left side turns off last because that's the active part for what you're wanting to achieve. So that's why it takes longer than the right side. It's important to have them reset themselves or reset in some way, otherwise they won't work for future use. So now I'm going to show you the tower method. This is different from the anchor method because it's all in one long column and there's four extra stages for the display piece as well which is a complete separate system, so don't worry about that. So this is pretty similar to the last explanation. Um, if you followed that one, this one should make more sense, except it's got more stages in it for the display stages. So don't, yeah, don't worry about that. But I wanted to explain that you can have different stages within the same column, which is why I decided to have them in, on different times. So here's a short video on how the tower version works. I will be showing you the display system as well. Um, again, that's a complete different system, so don't worry about that. Now you could have the fireworks clock and the face mechanism going at the same time, but I wanted to separate that just to demonstrate that you can have different things going off at different times. So don't feel restricted to what you have in between the beginning of the timer and at the end, as long as it comes full circle and resets. And then it all turns off at the same time. Lovely. So what you will need to make the Murdoch command timer is a normal imports command block, chain command block, repeater, redstone, and I'm using a button to initiate it. You need something to initiate it. So that's why I just chose the button. So first off, you put the repeater here and then your redstone there, the command block there, and then the chain block on top. And then to initiate it, I started the button there. So the commands we're going to be using are the set block. They're always going to be set block. And we start with the inputs command at the, it's going to be the set block for the redstone wire that's how this timer works it's not a clock because it doesn't repeat so that's why the definition is a timer always double check your coordinates and make sure not to forget your underscores like redstone block or, or whatever they're, they're really important otherwise it's not going to work so the redstone block always has to go in front of the repeater which is the repeater in front of the impulse command block 
And then for the chain command block, it's going to be exactly the same as the imports command, but the difference is this is either going to be A or redstone wire, depending on what you're initiating the timer with. I tend to use either a repeater or a redstone wire. That way it's easier to reset and can be used with a button or, or whatever you need really. Now on this chain command, these tick delays are your best friend. This is the time apart. How it works is whenever the ticks run out, that's when the command activates. But this is the most crucial part. In order for it to activate, it needs a constant redstone signal. And that's why I use the redstone block. Here is a table I made, seconds needed for the timer on the left and the corresponding ticks on the right. So if you wanted your timer to be 2 minutes, it would be 2400 ticks. And yes, this timer does work in a tick area. You could also have your activation method as a light sensor. Always remember to have your reset block at the end of any timer. And that's how you make a Murdoch command timer. I wish there was a tutorial back when I really needed it and that's why I decided to make one now. My first tutorial ever so hopefully it's helped. If it has helped please like, subscribe and share and maybe let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, bye!